I'm Danielle Stoltz, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I am Japanese American. As a child, I read the story of Sadako Sasaki, a girl who experienced the American bombing of Hiroshima. Before her death, she was told that if she folded 1,000 cranes, the gods would grant her one wish. When I was 11, my family went to Hiroshima. On the train, my cousin taught me how to fold origami cranes. When we arrived, we placed our cranes at Sadako Sasaki's memorial. Five years later, I traveled to Laos to learn about the secret war and the unexploded bombs left behind. Often known as bombies, these small, round explosives are easily set off and injure almost one Laotian every day. There were 260 million bombies dropped. When the bomb would drop from the plane, the shell would open up and you would have what they call black rain. The term black rain was also used to describe the excess of radioactive material that resulted from dropping the atomic bombs on Japan during World War II. It was this black rain that eventually claimed the life of Sadako Sasaki. <laughs> Accompanying me was my friend Aimi. Everywhere we went, we taught the people of Laos how to fold cranes. The crane became a symbol of a wish through Sadako's story, and her wish was simple, to beat leukemia. Everyone we met had their own wish. From becoming a soldier, a teacher, or doctor, to simply going to school. Dreams were everywhere. A mother dreams that one day her son will be whole like before. A grandmother who wishes of giving her eyes to her grandson. A father who wishes he could provide for his family. Transcending language and cultural barriers. Folding cranes with people we once bombed was a great way to bridge the distance between a devastating past and a hopeful future. When I was young, I, have, I am really have a big dream. At 16, a bombie shattered those dreams. Now he wishes for the future of his country. And I would like to say, please help more art. We never get angry, and, but we need help. We are uh, quite poor now. Like Fon Savan, Sudako's wish was not only to survive her illness, but for the world to live in peace. If only it was as simple as folding a crane.